Hi, welcome to the vlog. Um, this episode is going to be a bit of a um, kit review uh, update. Um, I haven't been doing a great deal of photography over the past few months. Um, reason being, I've just kind of lost my mojo with it all. Um, so. Yeah, so I have been using a, a D810 for a, for a couple of years now. Um, absolutely love this camera. Um, but I've upgraded to a mirrorless, um, which is what we're being filmed on now. But I think I'm going to hang on to this one for a while. So, so yeah. Um, but the main thing I wanted to talk to you about today was... Um, a few other bits of gear I bought. Um, so I bought two new tripods. Um, basically, I had a, I had a. It's a pretty decent tripod, um, but I was, I was never happy with it. I could never really get on with it. It just felt, it, for the money, it, it just felt a bit flimsy, and yeah, I wasn't that impressed to be honest. So I've done a bit of research, um, and I wanted something which was kind of as sturdy as my, my trusty old man Frodo tripod. This, this monster here, um, which I've actually sold the ball head to my friend Andrew. Um, but yeah, this was, this was my second tripod I bought. Um, but it weighs like nearly 3.3 kilos, I think, with the, with the ball head on it. Um, and obviously doing a wild camping, it's in a lot of hiking, it's kind of really heavy, so so that one's kind of just retired now, it's just a spare one. Um, now I've bought a couple of these guys, um, Leo Photo tripods. Um, this is the LS223C and the LH25 bore head, which the camera is on now. Um, so yeah, so we'll talk about that one later. So if we go into this one, which is my main photo tripod now. Um, so it's uh, Leo Photo LS324C and the LH40 ball head. So let's just uh, get this out of the box and see what we've got. Um, I did do a bit of research into these. Um, I asked a couple of questions online and they got recommended. So I did a saw a few videos, a couple of reviews, there wasn't that many about. So I thought I'll, I'll just do one myself. So what have we got? We get carry case, which is obviously a nice feature because it's a it's a pretty well made one, it's not like a cheapy token effort of a, you know, here's a tripod and you get a free bag with it, which is absolutely rubbish. So in here, you get some tools, you get the tripod, which we'll come to in a minute. Uh, and there's another separate pouch on here, which I believe has got the extension thing, if you need it. I'll come on to why this is separate in a minute. Um, and also another feature, like a couple of other, you get some spiked feet. Now, my other tripod I had, I had to buy these separately. So I've hung on to them. Because these are fantastic for going in sort of spongy ground. You can just stick your tripod in there and it's in there. And on the beach as well. They go into the sand and kind of hold your tripod there, they don't really sink at all, so yeah, so I'll be probably using those as well on, on the new tripod. Right, get rid of that. So this is the new tripod. Leo Photo LS34C with the H40 ball head. Now, a reason I bought this 
is because of the reviews and how sturdy they, you know, that they are. Um, I never actually saw it in the flesh, so I was just going off reviews I've seen online. I was going to go for the lighter version, but in the end I decided, yeah, I'll get, I'll get this one. It's still only 1.9 kilos with the bore head on, um, which is quite good. Now, feature on this one, I really like. It folds up really narrow because you haven't got that centre column in the middle. Um, like the Manfrotto and, and the other trifle that I had. So, so the legs fold out nice and compact, which is really good, especially for when I do my wild camping, um, because it just it, it's just nice and low profile on the pack. So I'm, yeah, I'm pleased with that. You also get the, the adapter um, to go with it. But I've, I've taken this out of the box previously. Um, the head's pretty good, it's got, Bit of friction to control control the ball head so it doesn't just so it's not just floppy like that when you undo it so you can adjust that friction stop your camera from doing that kind of thing um, twist locks on this flipping amazing they just feel absolutely rock solid um, yeah really pleased with it it's got ten. It's got ten layer carbon fibre tubes. Um, so it's basically ten layers of carbon fibre to construct the tubes, and it's just a really nice finish. Um, with the ball head as well. This is pretty, pretty good. Um, you've got this. Here, which is adjustable on the on the other ones, but I'll, I'll show you that later. So my my other tripod, which are on now, has got the small ball head. So if I want to go, if I want to take the big tripod, but I don't want the particular, you know, I don't want the weight of that. I can just swap the ball heads around, which is yeah, do it on any tripod, but they're just matching. So yeah, so that's that. Um, ah, and also the rubber feet you get with it, uh, again. Really good quality, well made, and just it just feels a really good solid piece of equipment. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, the, to testing that out properly in the field. Um, I've taken it on one one camp so far, um, but it's a bit of a rush. I didn't do that much photography. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you a couple of snaps from from that one uh, now. Right. So, I like say I'm in the centre column. It is a bit of a faff if you need it, but I don't tend to use the centre column very often. So, if I do need that extra height, it's it weighs next to nothing. It's in the top of my bag. That goes up like that. Unscrewed ball head. That on. Bam. So yeah. So uh, that's a, a really nice, a nice feature. But like I was saying earlier, it's really nice to have it nice and slim like that. I mean, that's a. It's actually diameter-wise probably smaller than the uh, my wide-angle lens. So. That's going to be very useful. That's right, so I'm going to swap you over, stick you on this tripod, and show you the small LS223C, which I've also purchased. Right, so here we are with the Leo Photo LS223C. Again, this comes with a nice small little bag just to just to keep it nice while it's you know in storage or if you're rattling around in the back of the car or anything. Let's go through the what you get first. Oh. Right. So again, you get the nail spike feet and you get some bits and bobs in there. So you get a little tool, a little carabiner to hang off the bottom. 
So you can hang your bag to obviously make it a bit more stable, Allen keys and, and that. So yeah, so that's that. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the Ranger LS223C and the LH25 Boarhead. Um, again, I'm really impressed. You get a tiny, um, a tiny little Arca Swiss um, adapter on there. I'll just grab that for you now. Just to show you. I've actually got it on my F to Z adapter, or F to Z adapter, however you want to say it. So that's the plate what comes with it. So it's it's really cool, really compact. So that's good. I like that. I'm impressed. So yeah, again, this is got the 10 layer carbon fiber legs, um, small ball head, and the, and the twist locks. It's just it just feels absolutely solid. It's not the Tallest tripod in the world, um, but certainly, it certainly hold a hold a big camera. Um, a bit like the D810. Yeah, I've got, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel anxious about leaving that on there at all, um, especially with the spiked feet if you're on a bit of soft ground or something like that. So, so yeah, it's really um, really good. And it, the ball head on this one, it hasn't got any um, friction adjustment on the ball apart from kind of what you, how much you dial in on this one and you can, it's enough to lock the camera but still be able to pan. Um, so yeah, so slightly different but it's, it's a really light, really lightweight ball head that one. Um, so yeah, so that is the Leo Photo tripods which I have just purchased. Um, another thing about these as well, the, the mechanisms on them, it springs back down and then you can lock it out into what position you want. Whereas ones I've had before you've had to lift them up and then they, they stay up like that. But this one, as soon as you take it to the top position, it kind of clicks and it's spring loaded. Um, it is able to go pretty low to the floor, um, like that, and obviously still be on the on the rubber feet, which is good. So yeah, so the reason I bought this one is obviously for the just for the vlogging because it's easy to put on the table; it's not too high. And also, I'm looking at getting a. Nikon Z or Z50, however you want to say it, um, for vlogging and time lapse. So that's the reason I bought two. Um, and I saw it and I just liked it. <laughs> it's really cool. Really, really like that. With this one as well, I kind of I was thinking configuration wise, I can set it up wide like that. I can take the ball head off, and this is this is pretty cool. So you've got quarter and three eight threads, but it's actually built into it. You don't have to, to take it off. Um, but yeah, again, you can use. I can use this centre column on that small tripod. To give me a bit more height on it, and yeah, another cool thing on this is you've got this ring on here, it's like a buffer ring, but if you put it on there like that, and you've got your camera, and for some reason you want to you wanna lower your camera and you forget to hold your camera whilst you're lowering it it will kind of stop it from bang slamming itself down on there so yeah so that's my new tripod really really impressed so the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was 
um, a road trip which I'm planning. So I'm actually going to go up to Scotland in the next couple of weeks and get as much landscape photography done as I can in four days. So I'm just hoping the weather is going to cooperate. So yeah, so hope to see you again soon. Um, if you like the video please give me the thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing. I'm hoping to put a lot more content out this year and it's kind of it's going to be a mix of reviews and out on location. Um, today's I'm just inside because it's a pretty rubbishy day and I'm not feeling that great. Um, so I thought I'd just do this quick little review on these tripods. Um, yeah so any questions put them in the comments I'll I'll answer them. Um, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.